Peace. What's good, Prophet people? This is Absolute checking in at about 10.15 on the 4th of March. And I did about $250 in about 40 minutes. And at this time, I'm about to take it down. Catch a little quick little nap till about 12 when Jerome Powell is supposed to speak. Jerome Powell, who is the Fed chief, may say something to rally the market and get it moving back in the bullish direction right now. It's bearish. It's very ugly. Broke some key support levels. I capitalized on that. And uh, right now, I'm just going to take it down. I'm going to chill. I'm not going to push it right now. I don't want to get caught. There, there used to be an age-old adage that used to go, don't fight the Fed. And I fought the Fed. You know what I'm saying? All of you punk rock heads out there, you know that old punk rock song. I fought the law. I fought the Fed, man. And it didn't go too good for the kids. So I don't fight the Fed no more. I have my positions on. We'll see what they do. You know what I'm saying? I, I had a very good first hour. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit there. Because if I sit there, check this out. If I sit there, I will continuously take trades, take trades, take trades. You have to know when to quit when you're ahead. And right now I'm ahead. So I'm going to quit for right now. I'm going to wait and see what happens when Powell speaks. See how the market reacts. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes he speak and he caused the market to tank uh, just by, I guess, bringing it, keeping it real and saying, yo, we're in a bad situation right now. Uh, a lot of times they do talk and they, what, what they call that dovish. When they say something nice or something supportive of the market, I just got another alert. S&P just made a new low, 378.70. See, so my positions right now to the downside are going to be maturing. Let them do what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, when the Fed says something that's accommodative, meaning they will say something that will support the market, that's termed as dovish. And when they say something that is not so favorable, like let's say if they say they're going to raise interest rates, that will be termed as hawkish. Okay, you see all of these funny little things, dovish, hawkish, instead of just saying, you know, they're going to support us or they're not going to support us. They always got to make it some esoteric type of meeting so that people that's in the street or people that's not, familiar with these terms or just feel lost okay anyway don't fight the fed it will probably say something dovish or uh, something to support that accommodative stance and the market may like that and the market may rally or they may not we shall see i am not going to get in front of that i am going to wait to 12 and i'm going to see what happens at the at that time so for right now i'm gonna take it down see if i can catch me a little nap you know what i'm saying and uh we'll see what it is afterwards you know what i mean um this is the culture of the market this is how the market behaves at times you know what i'm saying um and being a student of that i have definitely learned not to fight the fed not to jump the gun to know when to quit when you're ahead. You know what I mean? A lot of times you'll make, you'll have a good morning. You might make $200, $300. And then because you're greedy, saying, let me go for the five, you wind up losing the three. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to uh, fall back for right now. You know what I'm saying? Give me some time to digest. Don't get caught up in the frenzy. You know what I mean? These are all different tactics you got to use when you're day trading. Investing certainly is a different ball game when you're investing uh, because uh, it's more of a long term. Okay, 
So that's it. I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you guys know what was going on for today, the 4th. I'm going to holler back at y'all later on. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you have any questions pertaining to trading or investing, leave them in the comments below. If you want to get down with Webull, there's a link below. If you want to get down with Robinhood, there's a link below. Okay? If you want to support the movement, if you want to help a brother out as a brother continues to bring you this content to get you new invade investors and traders up to speed with the lifestyle, the culture of Wall Street, holla at me. My Patreon link is below. Support the movement, okay? This is Absolute signing out for the Absolute Boss Collective. Peace.